They say you never know what you got till it's gone. You should have been there, now she's singing this song. Welcome back to another video, babe. So in this video, I will be installing and unboxing my Eunice hair. So right here is the box and how it looks. First opening the box, you can tell that I had a few little goodies. Um, the first goodie I am grabbing right now is a charm. It is a Christmas charm. I thought this was really cute since my sister bought this during the Christmas time. And then we have a bag full of goodies. So first opening bags, I have a pair of lashes. I have a wig cap. Some nail art, some nail wrap art. And lastly, a Eunice scarf. So that is all the items that came in this cute pink Eunice bag. Next, I am pulling out the hairnet that actually came on the wig, but I did look at this wig before I filmed this video, so it was not on there. Right here is the wig. A little about the wig, it is a 18 inch four x four closure wig with a hint of blonde in the front and it is body wave texture. The last thing I'm pulling out the box is this lace and this fabric material that was on the wig. It was on the closure part of the wig, but I did cut it off because I didn't need it. Now I'm showing you guys the closure part of the wig. Um, about this wig, it was difficult to do because they had tracks in the closure. I've never seen anything like this before. And on the sides of the wig cap, the tracks were folding into the wig cap. So if you do get this wig, just know it's kind of different. Now we're moving on to the install part of this video. So right here I have on my wig cap from Eunice and I did make sure that all my edges were brushed back so they won't be in the way of the install. Next I'm going in with my concealer and a makeup brush to apply the concealer to my closure. This is just making sure that my closure is the same color as my skin or a little lighter because of course our scalps are a little lighter. So yeah. So right here I'm just rubbing in the concealer with my brush onto my hand and then applying it onto the closure. Now I'm going in with my Got To Be Glue Free Spray and I will be applying this all over the closure. Right here I just wanted to give you guys a close up on the closure of the wig. As you can tell the hole that I made from cutting off that lace part in the tracks that were already installed. So now I'm just applying the wig to my head. Right here, I'm just pushing in the back comb into the back of my head and making sure that the front two were clipped in. So my sister did bleach the knots for me and plucked my lace so that it was already done. All I had to do was install it. So I'm just making sure that the lace is pulled down as far as I would like it to be. So right here, I'm just pulling my hair back so I can get started on the install. So right here, I'm pulling out the edges of the wig that I would like to have out. 
so that I can spray my got to be glue free spray in my bed head in between that space to make sure it's secured. Right here, I'm just using a hot comb to make sure that my line is straight and seeable so that I can spray in between it. First spray I'm going in with is the bed head and then I will be going in with my got to be glue free spray. So right here I'm grabbing my little elastic strap. I would suggest one that is brand new or one that is silk because once I took this one off my head, it did stick. As you can probably tell, it's been used multiple of times. So a little advice right there. So I leave this elastic strap on my head for about five minutes and right here I'm just letting my blow dryer dry on it so I can go a little faster. So yeah. So when the five minutes are up, I do take the wrap off and I just pull up my lace because it can be stuck to your forehead. And I also pulled up my edges and I got my razor and I'm just gonna cut in a zigzag motion to cut off the extra lace. So right here, I did see some lace that was up. So I went back in with my got to be glue free spray and tied my hair back down for another five minutes. So now I'm just making sure that my part is in the middle and that the top of the hair is flat as possible so it won't give me a wig look it will give me a natural look and i'm going in with my she's bomb wax stick So now I'm taking off the elastic band. I did let my let this sit for longer than five minutes. Um, what I'm going to do is just get a comb and comb out the edges because they might be a little sticky. So for this wig, I did just want two cute side swoops in the middle of the edges just combed back into the hair so that is what i'm trying to achieve right here and i'm just going to be laying my edges down with this lot of body mousse
So I'm wrapping my hair back up again so that I can make sure that my edges are laying down while I do style the hair. And I'm just spraying my bed head hairspray on top of that and laying it down with this unique scarf. So I'm just going in with my blow dryer and a brush to make sure the hair is not still wet and making sure that the top of my head is laid flat. So me straightening this hair, it did not get as straight as it could have because I was rushing to go vote. So I'm sorry about that. But I did spray my heat protecting spray over my head to make sure it fell onto the hair. So here is the finished product. This is my first time ever installing a wig on myself. So I hope you guys enjoyed. As I said before, it did not get as straight as it could have. So disregard the straight. But I hope you guys enjoy. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see y'all in my next video. Bye.